This is a partial list of the commercial diving fatalities over the past 15 years. All have one common cause, Delta P. Two out of three commercial diving fatalities involve Delta P. It is invisible to a diver, and it strikes suddenly without warning. There is almost no way to escape once it grabs you. Knowing what it is, where it lurks, and how to avoid its grasp is the subject of this video. Delta P stands for Delta Pressure. These state-of-the-art computer-generated models will demonstrate this point. In a situation like this, both of these glasses are perfectly safe to drink from. But in this example, the liquid on the right wants to traverse the pipe to the other liquid in the manner shown by our one arrow that we had to split in half to create two arrows because of rendering limitations with our computer-generated graphics. The pressure exerted can be enormous. If the difference between the depth of water is 50 inches, and the diameter of the pipe is 10 deca inches, the force of water exerted on the valve is nearly 1,700 libs. If the valve was suddenly opened and one of your appendages was near it, it would be in for the sucking of a lifetime. Trying to remove your arm would be like trying to lift a car completely off the ground with one hand. An easy feat for most people, but the less gifted of us would certainly struggle. You could only remove your arm if the pressures between the two became nearly equalized. But in this example, your body makes a perfect seal, preventing the bodies of water from equalizing, and causing the metal pipe to become your new arm, which you would be forced to wear for the rest of your life, like some kind of pipe arm wearing freak thing. Important things to know when calculating the force of water through a hole in deep water are the same important things to know when dating a woman. The area of the hole, the difference in depth compared to her sister, and the difference in pussy square inches per foot of water when aroused. If we get some nerds to run this math, this example shows a force of 1,685 pounds of pressure. If we convert the calculation to the metric system, we get 1,735.5 pounds of pressure. You can't see or feel a Delta P situate. Oh my god, that crab is gone. That crab is just fucking gone. Let's watch that again. Holy shit, Delta P just took that thing to the Phantom Zone. As you watch the following recreations of Delta P incidents, Please remember that these photorealistic depictions are just computer-generated recreations. What you are seeing is not real, and cannot hurt you, no matter how lifelike they may seem. Diver 1 enters the water behind the dam structure in order to clean the strainer of the dam's drain. Unknowingly, Diver 1 accidentally hits the button that switches the dam from stop to suck. Diver 1 is now sucked off by the immense water pressure, and is trapped. Diver 2, hearing someone is being sucked off, moves in to try to get in on the action. Punished for his greed, Diver 2 becomes trapped also. Diver 3 enters the water to rescue Divers 1 and 2. Don't worry, dear viewer, there is no reason to panic. Diver 1 and 2 are already dead. Diver 3 went to the hospital afterwards, because he was sucking off the head nurse. A scuba diver was down at the bottom of the ocean fixing a crack in the floor that would potentially reveal the Atlanteans' home base if discovered. Poseidon, god of the sea, became pissed at this notion, as he always wanted to hang out with Aquaman and plunder his stash of fresh mermaid pussy. The diver was sucked into a small undersea vortex, ran out of air, drowned, and cursed fish women everywhere for being too damn sexy. Two 
two scuba divers signed up for a trust exercise involving an industrial-sized tower of Vaseline. We don't know the details, so let's just move on. They used a fire hose to blast away silt and mud clogging the tower's drain. Once the drain was suddenly opened, let's just say this diver wasn't saying, Delta P, wee hee hee. He was saying, Delta P, bad for me. Diver 2, meanwhile, was experiencing a bug in his physics engine, and most likely spent the day strangely floating at the surface in mostly unnatural ways. Diver 1's intestines were sucked out of his butthole, like that one Chuck Paula Nick story. Somehow, he mysteriously died shortly after. Delta P, Delta P, Delta P. This diver really deltaed his P here. Delta P'd all over the place. He was full of Delta P, and Delta P'd it real good. Delta P'd up, and Delta P'd down. Every possible Delta P that could be Delta P'd was Delta P'd in every way that one can delta p. If you looked at me and said, delta who? I would say, delta p. He was killed by ruptured testicles. Diver 1 enters the water at a hydroelectrical generating plant. His assignment is to fight off the Loch Ness Monster, who regularly nests in the plant's gate valves. This is a prank by the plant personnel. The dive team is assured by the personnel that the gate valve is fully closed. The plant personnel have to stifle their giggling the entire time. The dive team confronts the plant personnel, telling them that they best not open the gates while their diver's in front of them. The plant employees promise they won't. The dive team doesn't know it, but the plant personnel all had their fingers crossed. The valve indicator shows the valve's not fully closed, but the plant personnel says to just ignore the indicators. They promise they won't do anything nefarious, wink. Diver 1 re-enters the water. The plant personnel then immediately fling the gate valves open and scream, Delta P, wee hee hee, Delta P, wee hee hee. The dive team retracts the diver's lifeline to find that he's not on the end of it. He is now one with the Delta P. The gates are cycled open in an attempt to capture any other divers, but by this point, everyone around the office is wise to the prank. Twelve hours later, the diver emerges from the Delta P and says, Boy, you guys really got me good on that one. When you confront your bosses about the dangers of Delta P, be sure to remove your hat before shaking their greasy hands. Draw them a crude map of the job site that's just good enough to be understood, but not good enough to make them feel like they wasted their time getting an engineering degree instead of going to art school. Be sure to show this drawing to every boss, not just the ones in the office. Grab your boss checklist to make sure every boss in the company has seen your drawing. Here's a Delta P fun fact. Did you know that if you touch the top of your head twice and give the OK symbol, you're gay? Gotcha. If you spot a particularly enticing valve, put a red tag on it. This will make sure no one will try to steal your lovely valve when the inevitable rioting starts. If the day comes where you must suit up in your company-mandated power suit, remember that by this point, Delta P is on your side, and together you must defeat the true enemy, Omega Z. Don't say poopy on the company radio. Practice victory dancing with your equipment on in case you successfully survive a rogue Delta P encounter. And be sure to give Bob plenty of cable to play with while you're submerged, lest he get bored and start whining that he wants to go home. Don't ever attempt a Delta P situation on an empty stomach. If you're hungry, have one of the dive crew lower you down a bucket of delicious tuna heads to consume to keep up your strength. Use various hand gestures and smack a clipboard a few times to make it look like you actually know what you're doing for any cameras that are watching. 
Instead of having just one underwater safety hole to escape Delta P, plan to have at least five. That way, when the Delta P comes for your mortal soul, you can tell it to fuck off five times at once. Consider raising some underwater rabbits in an underwater rabbit cage to sacrifice to Delta P if it gets too ornery. Or make a drain cover with two ends for you and your dive team if you get too hornery. But the best plan of action is to just ask the Delta P politely but firmly to stop. The goal for this video was to confuse, astound, and amaze you. If you didn't enjoy this video, watch one more time all the way through to make sure you didn't enjoy it. Check out this crab again. Holy shit, that thing just ceases to exist. If you want to add your name to this list, call the National Delta P Fan Club today. We're always looking for new suckers.